Apparently I want to start off my morning with being verbally abused. That's somebody's kink, right? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mike of GTV and this is another segment of Shots Fired where I read and react to your comments. The mean ones, cause some of y'all been bitches. Now the majority of you are nice, spectacular, stupendous people that do nothing but spread positivity and I notice all of you first, so thank you so much. Y'all mean the world to me. But some of y'all, some of you comment shit that I just don't understand and the meanest ones delete themselves. I still see those guys, I still get the notification. What, you just don't want anybody else seeing you being a dick? So you're not just an asshole. You're also a pussy. And I don't want anybody getting mad or offended by any of these comments for me. The thing is, sometimes I kind of like them. Sometimes I find them funnier than the nice ones just because they are so stupid. <laughs> and between you and me being a YouTuber, I get to do this fun thing where I get to turn mean comments into a paycheck. Thank you guys in assisting to keep the lights on. I truly believe you're gay, Mike. Please accept it. Your action, fingers, and nuances, your face expressions and lips movement can y'all fucking, can y'all fucking insult me grammatically correct so I could read the comment? Your action, fingers, and nuances, your facial expressions and lip movements, oh my god, you're a sister, honey. And you can't write. <laughs> I'm gonna assume this is coming from a gay man. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. It's hard to type a hate comment while you're drinking a nice coffee. My question is though, what is it about mannerisms that determine somebody's sexuality? You watched a whole video about how femininity and masculinity do not determine someone's sexuality and then commented exactly that. <laughs> this reminds me of the gay test in school when they would ask you to see your nails and if you went like this, you were gay and if you went like this, you were straight. Like that had anything to do with wanting a dick in your ass? Your action, fingers, and nuances. How do my fingers what are gay fingers? The fuck do gay fingers look like? Spirit fingers? Do I have to do spirit fingers? I mean, don't get me wrong, these fingers have been pretty gay in the past. But they've also made a few fine young ladies squirt, so I don't know, are they, are they, are they closeted fingers? Remember that horror movie where the hand just came to life and it went around and killed everybody? Imagine if it was a gay hand with gay fingers and it came in on acrylics and just stabbed the shit out of everybody. <laughs> Your face expression and lip movement. My face expression is clueless. Which is a pretty, it's a gay movie, I get that. And lip movement, how does somebody's lip movement determine their sexuality? The only way that you could tell that these are gay lips is when they're wrapped around in dick. Imagine if gay lips were a thing, like imagine being closeted and trying to go down on a girl and they just like rejected, like you just gave a raspberry. Imagine giving a girl a raspberry like on the cooter, just Ugh, thank you for that. <laughs> you aren't remotely bi. I, if, if, all of them are like this, I swear to God. You are the gayest gay man. Whatever internalized bullshit you're carrying is frankly pathetic. You're gay. Okay, let's talk about internalized bullshit. I don't know who you think is saying that they don't like men. I don't know who you're trying to convince that they like dick, but honey, we have been new here. Nobody's denying that. I'm just also saying that, hey, I like this other thing as well. And for some reason, that infuriates you because you probably tried to come out as bisexual as a stepping stone before you realized that you were actually gay. And me being fully bisexual and comfortable and valid in that fact upsets you because I'm something you can never be. I'm still feminine as fuck and would fuck the shit out of your mom. Wanna talk about internalized bullshit? You mad? Shut the fuck up, you dirty queer. I mean, you're, you're not wrong. I am dirty. I am a queer. But here's my question to you, sir. You came to my channel. You searched, found, clicked, watched, and commented on my video just to write, shut the fuck up, you dirty queer. At what point did you think you were going to get excessively straight content on my channel? What did you think we were gonna drink a monster and play Fortnite? Please let me know. I wanna know at what point you felt bamboozled. So how are you gonna post about your personal life on YouTube then complain when complete strangers judge your life? Okay, one sec. Let's unpack this one. When I post a personal video, I'm posting it talking to my subscribers, the people that are like-minded and enjoy my content. Kind of like how you would describe a friend. And you are completely in your right to comment whatever you want here on YouTube. You're also completely in your right to say whatever you want in real life. But if you were ever to walk up to somebody who was having a personal conversation in real life and completely shit on them for something that they were discussing that was personal, you'd get smacked. So the difference is you're a little pussy. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey, and that's my favorite word. Dude is a major narcissist. He craves the attention. No shit! I make videos about myself. Every YouTuber has some level of narcissism. You need that to spend hours editing videos of your own fucking face. That's why I had to get a job editing things for other people. I got tired of looking at my own face. And I'm sorry, let's talk about you for a second. What are you bringing to the table that's so interesting that we just have to talk about and discuss? 
We don't have to talk about me. What are you doing? Huh. I find it so funny when people are like, don't talk about yourself or give you shit for always talking about things that you're doing. All right, bitch. If you want to talk about something else, do something fucking interesting. Not my fault you're boring as shit. You're old and you have too much time. Yes, I am old. Thank you so much. I can't wait to get older. I can't wait to just be like, a mean, nasty, decrepit old man. Like I can't wait to just sit around getting drunk, spend my days yelling at kids. It's literally kind of what I do on this channel. <laughs> Imagine me at 90 still making YouTube videos, just like, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mike MGTV. These kids won't get off my fucking lawn. Show me a video of you fucking a female. For free? Have you seen a video of me fucking a male? Cause I want payment for that if so. I'm assuming you're saying this because you're trying to make it seem like I fuck girls less in order to invalidate me being bi. Well, let me unpack every reason why you're an idiot. If you're questioning who I frequently sleep with, I tend to sleep with guys more, but go on more dates with women. I don't know if that really has anything to do with preference or just because I'm lazy and guys are easier. But also let's talk about what sexualities mean. When somebody says that they're sexually fluid or pansexual or bisexual, they're not dictating that based off of who they fuck more. All they're saying is that they have an attraction to two, if not every gender. So if somebody ever tries to use this in an argument to invalidate you, fuck one of their parents, cause them to get a divorce, marry them, and then become their parent and ground them for being an idiot. Too much? Was that too much? Tyke handsome. I will say I've never gotten a hate comment from somebody that was attractive. <laughs> Stop tattooing a former beautiful body. Okay, mom. I will do whatever the fuck I want because everybody has their own opinion on what is beautiful and what is not. It doesn't matter if you're big, small, thin, wide, half piercings, half tattoos, or have nothing at all, everyone is beautiful in their own right. And if the only thing I'm sacrificing is that tight handsome over here doesn't find me attractive, I, I will find a way to sleep at night. The fact that gay people think some straight men like men makes me laugh honestly. Oh, who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her, honey? Because I can guarantee that these girls are the ones with boyfriends who are fucking other dudes. There are a lot of fluid men who mainly only like women but still sometimes hook up with men. They just don't have to talk about it because they don't have to commit to it because they can go on with their lives never having to experience that prejudice and freedom. And it's, you know, who wouldn't do that? It doesn't mean that once upon a time your man might have had dick breath. Putting a wig on isn't drag. If you want to use the drag community for views and attention, at least do it properly. Okay, sis, sit down. One day I probably will get canceled. One day I probably will say something stupid and insensitive and be very, very apologetic for my actions. But until that day comes, I'm not apologizing for stupid shit. And if you want to get technical, there's no certain level of anything that dictates what is drag and what is not. You don't have to be a certain level of female impersonation. You don't have to have a certain level of makeup on. You don't have to have a certain outfit on. You could do whatever you want, bitch. That being said, were we actually doing drag in that video? No. <laughs> we were just a couple of dudes chilling in the car wearing wigs having fun. You finding something negative out of that situation says more about you than it does me. Stop being butthurt and looking for a reason to be pissed off about something, okay? You're really grasping at hairs here. Use the drag community for views. I've been feeding the drag community drinks for years. You're welcome. The least you could let me do is put on a wig. <laughs> Toxic masculinity, as if you know much about being masculine, he sounds like a feminist. He's that type of gay. He looks masculine on the outside, but as soon as he opens his mouth, a purse falls out. Let's unpack this comment. This is gonna be fun. If by he sounds like a feminist, you mean I believe that women deserve equal rights to men, then you are absolutely correct. But if you're insinuating that feminine men also have this idea, you are very much so incorrect, sir. There are gays for Trump. Y'all see that mess on Twitter? What the fuck's happening there? That's like chickens for Chick-fil-A. And the reason I point that out is because you try to invalidate the topic of toxic masculinity and then go on to hate on women and gay people, which literally is basically the definition of what? Toxic masculinity. <laughs> he's like, it's too easy. It's too easy when you're that stupid. <laughs> I like both, end of story. So far we're on the same page. Also, <laughs> you seem loud, Mike. You need to chill out. Oops, you are loud. Shed a few pounds and I might look at you. Bet this gets deleted. Shed a few pounds and I might look at you. Honey, my bed is booked. I couldn't fit you into my schedule if I tried. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep being thick as fuck. And how are you gonna leave a paragraph in all caps calling me loud? Good Lord, this guy is a queen. Again, at what point did you search, find, click on, watch, and comment on a video 
and think you were gonna get anything else. Did you think this was PewDiePie? Did you get confused? What the fuck is with that hair? It was probably a mess, and it's also thinning. Honestly, it's a miracle I've been able to pass this long without anybody bringing it up. <laughs> girl, that hand and wrist movement, I can't see you going down on a girl unless you had a guy in your butt, lol. Name a girl you had sex with in the last year when you were both sober. Unfortunately, Josh, I don't really kiss and tell with men or women. That's not really my style. Unlike you, who seem to be the kind of person who brags about that hand job they got behind a KFC in middle school because nobody seems to be fucking you now with that shit attitude. You're that type of person that never gets laid but tells all their friend that they always get laid. And if I were going down on a girl with a dude in my butt that would still be two more people than you're currently getting because if you were getting laid you would be in a much better mood and wouldn't have time to comment stupid shit on my YouTube channel. Why are there ice cubes in the red wine? And y'all are bartenders? This isn't really a hate comment, I just want to clarify. It wasn't red wine, it was sangria, okay? Jesus Christ. Mike, you need to take care of your health. God, I know. <laughs> you have swelling under your eyes, which expresses that you drink too less water. You guys, I am dyslexic. If you're gonna shit on me, be chromatically correct. Drink more water as it'll improve your skin condition and help remove fat and solve a lot of issues. Oh, fuck. Like this comment if you guys wish that Mike would take better care of his health. Yeah, sometimes I have swelling in my eyes, but maybe it's because I run two businesses on a YouTube channel. Maybe because it's exhausted for working endless hours a week. Maybe it's because we're still in a global pandemic with no end in sight. Maybe it's because we've almost gone through a full year of 2020 and I'm fucking exhausted. But you're honestly absolutely right. I should be drinking more water. <laughs> bye now, gay later. First of all, thank you so much for clarifying how to pronounce bye. I was so confused. And you know what? You might be absolutely right. It could also be bye now, straight later. It could also be straight now, gay later. Could also be straight now, bi later. Could also be bi now, pan later. Could also be bi now, and I don't give a fuck later. Because people are allowed to change the way that they identify as they learn and grow. And all the rest of the other world has to do is let other people say and be who they want to be without imposing their own beliefs or opinions. But unfortunately, that won't happen until everyone has worked out their own issues and insecurities. And unfortunately for you, that doesn't seem like it's happened yet. I see a baby bump. Who's the father? Can a boy not just eat to serve? Survive. Trash. Absolutely. This isn't a hate comment as much as it is a fact. One that let's not forget, I said first. I both like and hate you. Yes. My daily mantra as I stare in the mirror. Gay ass, fuck you. Commented on a video of me and Mac making a grinder profile. First of all, sir, what were you searching that led you to this video? Some people really so bored, they're like, I'm gonna search something I don't like to leave mean comments. Well, thank you for engaging on that video, baseball man Clark. It's doing very well. <laughs> well, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like it and subscribe for future videos. I put them out weekly. Thank you again to everybody that watches my videos, even the haters. All of you motivate me to be a better person and make better content, just in different ways. <laughs> and to the majority of people that leave nice comments on my videos, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you more than you know and continue to spread positivity and love here on the internet. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my video. My name is Mike MGTV and you're fucking welcome. Imagine trying to hurt a queer's feelings with words like we haven't heard it all before. Like you're gay. Ow. Follow my kids. Stay there. Yeah. Head so good. It's like daycare. Uh. Damn right. Heights. Gray there. I got a wee pipe. Got a head full of gray hair. Never cheat when the game don't play fair. Bear with me. Take those pants up and lay there. She rides my dick like the state fair. I was too fucked up to take off my wayfares.